It has been 60 years since North and South Korea signed an agreement that ended combat in the Korean War. 23 ABC's Christina Sverojako is in the studio with more on the events in Kern County today. Amanda, across the country, people remembered those who lost their lives and honored those who served in the Korean War. That includes veterans here in Bakersfield. Today, Korean War veteran Val Garcia saluted proudly as he remembered this day 60 years ago. We were all happy because we were coming home and it's, it was a duty to serve a country and we were there to, to help. In front of hundreds of spectators, veterans like Garcia were honored for fighting in the Korean War. But the ceremony was not only about honoring those who were still with us. It was also about remembering those who never made it home. I lost a brother in Korea, and uh, it brings a lot of memories. So that's, that is why I, got, I get kind of emotional all the time, because I remember. The names of those who lost their lives in the war, such as Garcia's brother, were read out loud. A very special and anticipated moment. Very proud because I had the chance to read my brother's name, and that to me it was it was it was a privilege. And the veterans of the so-called forgotten war look at days like this one as reminders of what they lived through 60 years ago. It's always remembrance how lucky we are and how sad it is for others. And when I spoke to Garcia today, he told me that emotional days like this one are rare and that he rarely discusses war with his fellow veterans. In the studio, Christina Zverjako.